What's up guys, welcome back to the episode. So tonight I'm doing civilian legal flashbang grenades being set off at night in order to see if we can see an actual flash or if the term flashbang was just loosely applied for marketing purposes. Um, I've got the M12 distraction device from IWA, the TAG-19 fragmentation grenade, and then I have TAG-IN's FBG-6. Uh, this is the two second delay flashbang. So just so that we're all on the same page, all of these devices are made for airsoft, okay? They are not actual flashbang, so we're not gonna get a blinding light or anything like that, because some people in the first video thought, I think they thought that they were real based off of their comments. So yeah, there's that. So I'm gonna address a couple concerns, comments, questions that I saw in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, go watch that one first, and then maybe finish watching this one. Um, why haven't I tossed this inside a room? Why am I tossing it outside? Well, if I toss it in a 10 by 10 foot room and you toss it in a 10 by 10 foot room, if my room has different carpet and it happens to be thicker, the walls happen to be denser or of different material, it's gonna sound differently. Mine might sound louder than yours, even though it's still a 10 by 10 foot room. And ultimately, the microphone on this camera is only going to pick up so much. So there's really no point in doing that. If I toss them out here, this is the more accurate representation as to how loud they are. IWA is very upfront as to how loud their distraction devices are. IWA goes off at 124 decibels. It's about $35, I believe, on site. You have to order three, and then you have to pay $40 shipping. The TAG FBG is 130 decibels. It comes in a box of six, and you also have to pay about $30 to $40 in shipping. There's a couple sites that do 30, there's a couple sites that do 40. And then we've got the Russian grenade looking uh, TAG 19 Y. This is the Y version, the training version. This does not have BBs inside of it. This is an actual fragmentation grenade. Not really a flashbang, but we're gonna see at night if it actually gives me a flash when it goes off. Uh, it is made out of traumatic safe polyurethane foam. The only hard part here is going to be the spoon. So if you watch my other video, you saw, or you probably even heard that the spoon came back and hit one of the legs of the tripod. That's it. If you're wearing hearing protection, it's not gonna hurt you one bit, all right? Again, each of these devices is meant for airsoft. That's it, all right? Other uses that I can see for this, um, besides just having fun tossing them and playing airsoft, milsum, maybe some actual training, CQB type of things. Maybe while you're on a hike, if you're hiking in an area where maybe you don't have your CCW permit, you can't carry a gun, maybe there's some mountain lions, bobcats, bears, if they're not already charging at you by the time that you see them, but they're maybe stalking you, maybe this is a good solution. Maybe you can toss this closer to them and because they explode and they're loud, maybe that'll scare them off. I don't know, uh, but certainly, if they're already chasing after you or if they're already running towards you, you're probably not gonna have the time to deploy these and, and toss it. So at that point, you're probably screwed. But we've all seen a couple videos of mountain lions or bobcats kind of uh, not necessarily attacking people, but getting very close to them. All right, so something like this might scare them off. And I prefer to use something like this if I have the time to deploy it versus just shooting the poor animal right off the bat. All right, uh, links, links to these things. I'm not gonna provide links to anything unless the video is sponsored. If I do provide links when they don't sponsor it, then I'm just essentially shooting myself in the foot and preventing future companies from sponsoring future videos, all right? Here, we're really going to see what is the best bang for our buck. So first, I'm gonna do the IWA. I'm gonna go from less loud from the one that's least loud decibel wise to the most loudest so it's going to be iwa first followed by the tag in fbg and finally with the tag in fragmentation grenade all right now 
flare behind me does have to go out before I actually do this so that we get a truer representation or that we get a better chance of seeing the flash. Again, these are for Milsom uh, airsoft type of things. So there's not gonna be a big flash, if any at all, but we're about to find out. Stand by, bye. All right, here we go. We're gonna do this kind of quickly because I am in my neighborhood. It is uh, Saturday night. So I'm hoping that when my neighbors kind of hear these things, they're not freaking out. Uh, but we're about to see, all right? So I'm also gonna toss these when I don't see cars kind of passing by. <laughs> all right, IWA first. Here we go. Okay, you know what? I was actually surprised. There was a little bit of light there. It's pretty good. I'll give it to them. Look that. All right, second one up is the Tagen FBG 2.0. Don't think that, that really got anyone's attention. Here we go. Holy f That actually had a much louder flash. I am very, very surprised by that. <laughs> that was actually a lot better than I thought it would be. All right, and then finally we've got the uh, tag in fragmentation grenade. Sorry guys that I keep looking around, but I gotta make this quick. All right, here we go. All right, and with that guys, I hope you guys like that. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, with that, I'm out of here. Peace. All right, so I just got home. Uh, that was a lot louder than what I thought it would be uh, for the FBG6. And it was pretty damn bright. It actually, I was surprised. I was fairly surprised. And I don't know, we're gonna see what uh, the Tag 19 look like. Because I closed my eyes, I didn't have uh, eye protection or anything like that, and there's no light in here. Anyway. A little bit early, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's what she's trying to say. And here we go. We're gonna post this video.